this video is gonna be an unboxing. So we finally bought that raft we had told you guys about. What is up guys? Jesse with Adventure Endeavor. We're in the beautiful country here. We are in Des Moines, Iowa. We're here because Melissa booked a flight. She's gonna be flying back to Southern California to have some fun with some friends. And I'm gonna be staying here. This is a really cool spot. We're right in the middle of a farm. I think they grow corn and and soy this video is going to be an unboxing so we finally bought that raft we had told you guys about for the summer you know what it has been in the jeep right here and it has just been taking up so much room it's hard to see out of the back so i'm going to take it out i'm going to set it up i'm going to get rid of a lot of the cardboard hopefully break it down to a smaller size and show you guys like our first thoughts our friends recommended this to us and we're really excited. We thought about getting paddle boards, we thought about getting a canoe, and this is kind of, in a sense, in the middle, and there's a lot of cool features that I wanna show you guys, like why we chose this boat. So, should be a fun video. Hope you guys enjoy, let's get to it. The boat weighs about 100 pounds all together with paddles, with the seats. I think that's shipping weight. So it'll be a little bit less, which I know is heavy, but you gotta figure if you have two paddle boards with paddles, with the like the backpack carrying case, all that stuff, it's gonna be pretty similar. So in typical fashion, we get instructions, all that jive. Uh, this is the boat, you know, we don't need this. All right, so our friends recommended a Saturn brand name boat. But we end up going with this one for a couple different reasons. This one comes with a carrying bag and it was a hundred bucks cheaper. And to be honest, you know, we're gonna use it in the summertime. We hope to use it a lot in the summers, but you never know, something like this can just sit. So I believe it was around $800, which seems expensive, but I mean, those paddle boards aren't cheap. To get a good quality kayak, they're not cheap. And this has some cool features. So let's take a look and see what we got. All right. so. So first thing I see here is we got what appears to be a carrying device. I wouldn't say carrying bag because it doesn't have a zipper, which is actually really awesome. So it looks like you put the raft, your paddles, everything in here. You fold up a flap, you fold up flaps, and then there's straps that connect it uh, with actual metal binders, which is great. So that makes it a lot easier because you guys know how zippers are always so difficult when trying to get something into a small bag, like a tent or a sleeping bag or something like that. So this looks pretty sweet. Comes with a foot pump to blow it up. Hopefully this is good quality. Sometimes these are good, sometimes they're not great. We'll see. We also have a little electric pump that we use for our double inner tube. And that's another great option too for summer stuff. I think it was like a $30 tube. It's got the two seats. It's got a cooler in the middle. We use that when we're floating, but we just wanted something a bit more and a bit more stable for just different conditions and whatnot. We got our paddles, pretty sweet, aluminum, nice. And then we got the massive boat. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Okay, okay. So I wasn't sure about this when we bought it because it's hard to tell, but it looks like the floor is separate, which is kind of cool because you know what this floor looks exactly like? This floor looks exactly like a stand-up paddleboard. So I wonder if it could be used separately. That's kind of cool. Got a repair kit, which is nice. Leave that in the boat in case we get a hole. One of the reasons this thing is so heavy duty is you can see these are wood. These are the seats that come with the raft. So there's three seats. Statement of origin. The reason you need something like this 
is because, believe it or not, this boat can take a motor, and that's one of the major reasons we got it. It has a transom on the back, so you could put a five to 10 horse. So I'm gonna blow it up, and I'm gonna show you guys all the details, and kind of let you know why we got this one. I got about three quarters of it pumped up, and then I went ahead and added the center section, which is kind of like, like I said, a stand-up paddle board. I'm gonna finish pumping this up, and then I think I'm gonna do that. Probably should've read the manual, but you know, you can really see the size of it. This thing is massive, and it seems like it's really well built. We have a boat now. It's pretty cool. So, just so you guys know, I started at 11:20. It's 11:34. So, about 14 15 minutes to blow this thing up that was just with the foot pump we do have a pump that goes into a cigarette lighter that we use for our inner tube when we river float but i just wanted to see how long it would take this floor i think i could pump it up a little more but you know this floor should get just as stiff as a stand-up paddleboard and it's nice because there's like nothing to cut your feet on anything like that so far i like that that's good so far everything is very good one of the main reasons we picked up this boat was due to the fact that it has a transom. So it actually has a hard, I don't know what it's made out of. I'm assuming there's a piece of plywood in there and then it's covered. You can have two adults, one child. You can have your luggage, your motor, and your occupants, 340 kilograms. And your motor, it says you can do up to an eight horse motor. And it has a serial number and everything like that. I guess they have to do all this because if you're gonna be out in the ocean or whatnot, you need to follow the rules. There's a rear drain to let water out. This is the air fill. These are where the seats go. You can do your oars just like a canoe, or you can put them in like a rowboat, which is kind of cool. It has areas to store your oars. It's got nice ropes on the side for carrying or for lashing points or whatever. It's got a nice handle up front. It's got some ropes up front. Yeah, so far, this thing is awesome. It's made by Boris, and it's got nice, strong carrying handles in the back. It's not that bad. It's really not that heavy. Cool, so we got the seats in. They seem nice, three-seater, obviously. And what's really nice too is that you can store items underneath this front cap if you don't want them to get wet while you're out on the water. Obviously, a cooler can fit in here or here. And then if you're using a motor, you're gonna need room back here, but we don't plan on getting a motor for a while. We're gonna see how we just like it as a canoe slash, I don't know, stand-up paddleboard. But we thought this was cool. We really like the idea of this because we figure we can bring gear. We can bring, at a minimum, our small dog, Zamboni. Blue, maybe. They say dog nails are okay on it, but you never know. You know, a lot of people have stand-up paddle boards if you wanna go out for like a day. It's, some of them have like cooler attachments, some of them don't. And then the same with a kayak. You know, some have room for like maybe a few drinks, some stuff. I felt like this was really good bang for the buck and it just kind of made sense for us and we love the option of getting a motor down the road. I mean, if you can get a motor, when we were in Baja, our friends had theirs out. They'd go out in the bay. He could go fast enough to get it to plane. So it just gives you a lot of versatility, and yet it's still small. I would feel pretty confident in this in some pretty rough waters, maybe going down some rivers and whatnot. I'm not a professional by any means, but it's really high quality. It does have a few fins on the bottom too that should help you track the right positions. But overall, seems like a good quality. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Let us know if this is something that you would be interested in buying. We'll link it below. We'll link our inner tube as well that we use. And uh, let us know your thoughts on a motor on one of these. I think eight horse would be, <laughs> would be pretty fun. And they sell them that have an enclosed tank. So it's just built right onto the outboard. I don't know, maybe there's some experienced rafters on our channel. Like what kind of rapids could we go down in this thing? I mean, like I said, I don't know, we'll learn. Babe, come look at your boat. Got a boat? Whoa! We got a boat. I got it blown up. It's big. 
First impressions? First impressions. Look at that. Yeah, Massive three seater. It's huge. Holy I know, it's a lot bigger in person, huh? Other way. Does it detach? Yeah, it does detach, yep. Okay, so you just unscrew that. Yep, you just unscrew those. Okay, nice. So we won't lose them. How do I look? You look great. How's it, uh, I mean, I'm not really going very far on this grass. No, because we're in the middle of uh, Des Moines, Iowa. Um, you have to be on water. Oh, is that how it works? What do you think? So I didn't really pump it up fully just because like I'm just testing it out. But the floor should get a little more firm. Yeah, well it seems pretty firm. Yeah. It's almost like uh, the floor it's like a itself paddle board. is like a paddleboard. And it's separate. Oh, it really? So I feel like you could use it as a paddleboard. Probably. Which is cool. That's awesome. This is huge. We could put a cooler right there. Yep. That's what about the dope. motor? When are we getting a motor? I think we can definitely fit both dogs in here. Yeah, I think so too. Coolers, yeah. snacks. Dry clothes. What do you guys think? Does that look safe? What do you think, babe? I almost wonder if it's hard. No, that doesn't make sense. Push it forward a little more. Maybe a little more forward, but it's gonna catch so much air, you know? I almost wonder if it would be better if we flip it upside down, but then it would like... We could put a strap on the nose of it, though. It looks great on the Jeep. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Especially because we're going to Michigan. So all the great lakes up there, I feel like this is going to be perfect. Are you excited to row this boat with your pity vibes on? I am. Pity vibes, rowing the boat. This is just going to be a summer to remember. This is going to just be great.